Hello everybody, Joel here. So today is a beautiful day in northwestern Minnesota and we decided to give our brand new little pressure washer a try. We picked up a DeWalt cordless pressure washer at Home Depot yesterday and it is uh, the end of March, getting close. Uh, next, It's Palm Sunday today actually. Next week is um, Easter. So the end of March of 2021, just a beautiful glorious spring day. So we decided to go ahead and get the pressure washer out and give it a try. And didn't even think to get the camera out to take a video. So we went ahead and washed the steps just to try it out. Trying out some of the other tips and nozzles. But we're up here on the deck. It's a vinyl plank deck. Um, maintenance. Maintenance free deck. And here is the unit here. It's the DeWalt. Brand new pressure washer. They just came out with these this year. And I saw one and I thought, man, that would really be a nice unit to try. They're only a hundred, I think it's $120 at Home Depot. 120 or 140. We just picked it up yesterday and um, given it a whirl. So. So here's the box that the unit came in. It is um, just basically, looks like they're calling it the 5 amp hour um, PS, uh, 550 PSI power cleaner. So I guess pretty simple, simple name. Not calling it a pressure washer because quite frankly this has got not quite as heavy duty as a pressure washer would be. One that's got a gas powered engine, probably either, even a 120 volt pressure washer. I do have one that plugs into an outlet that is a bit heavier uh, PSI than this, but man, this thing is, it's really working great, but I'm waiting for the batteries. I've got some batteries. I'm waiting to charge up here. So just go over a few of the specs here. 550 uh, max PSI on the unit, and you can see over here that what it comes with is the uh, 40 degree nozzle, which is white. A uh, was that 25 degree nozzle which is green 15 degree uh, in the orange and it's got a turbo that turbo nozzle actually is in a circular motion and it also comes I thought this feature was really neat comes with this um, siphon hose that you could just drop into a five gallon pail if you don't have a, a water source available uh, you could put it into I don't know maybe a pond or a pail it's got a little filter on the end of it um, and then it also comes with this uh, soap canister. And my wife is putting some soap into it right now. We're going to do some furniture, so we'll try uh, that feature out also. But it is a great unit. It's got storage on the top. Maybe you've seen it as I've been using it for the nozzles uh, right up in the top of the unit there. And this one has the turbo nozzle already installed. Um, but I'll show, I'll try to remember to show some of those features when I'm using it again. Um, and 
to get this thing plugged back in. So it is working well, but um, let these batteries charge up and we'll go from there. So I've got a newly charged battery. Installing the battery is fairly simple. It does have this large compartment attached to it, so it's not just exposed. I'd imagine that's because of the water. Um, it's not a sealed compartment. It's just a plastic enclosure that wraps around the battery. Okay, got it in there and just slides right in. It's like a normal tool. Okay, so I do have a soap bottle ready to go. And we'll do the use that on the furniture, but I'll finish with the deck. The spots are drying up and uh, the water is drying off, so it's turning out really nice. It's getting the bulk of the dirt that was on there anyways. It's looking good. So my initial reaction on the stamped concrete, it does an excellent job because of all the irregularities in the, uh, in the stamping of the concrete. It really digs in to those crevices and, and like I said, irregularities and gets that dirt out. This is the first time it's been cleaned since winter time and it was pretty dirty. So did a really good job with that, better than just a nozzle on a hose would do. Now I do know they make some powerful nozzles also. Uh, I've never used one before um, that just uses the water pressure, but I would say this is doing a great job. I'll get a little more action of me doing the concrete over in the other area. Let's give the soapy action a try. We'll give the soap action a try. So all I did was remove the, the wand and the soap container mechanism plugs right into the end where the wand plugs into. Well, in typical fashion, I did not read the instructions fully before operating the piece of equipment, and I was a little bit underwhelmed, underimpressed with the power. It was doing a good job. It was getting into the crevices. It was spraying things out, and it had fairly decent pressure. But at the back, I was just working here around the table, and I laid it down for a little bit. There's a switch that's on the back side here. As you can see on the back side here, there is a low and a high feature, which I should have known, but didn't. Who needs the instructions until you're stuck, right? So anyways, I, um, I'm going to try it out on the high mode and see if I can get some better, better action out of it, a little better pressure. We'll see what happens. Much, much better pressure. Oh, it's night and day different. Wish I'd have seen that earlier, but live and learn. It's about using and getting familiar with the equipment, I guess. So right on the back of the, the unit, there is the high and the low switch. 
Here's the green tip on the higher mode. So that's just a quick introduction to the Dewalt washer. And I guess some of the uh, some of the takeaways is number one, make sure you check to see if you're using it in high or low. That absolutely makes a difference. It goes through the batteries pretty decently. I'm I'm on the, I got the whole patio done with just one battery and the tables and chairs on the patio. I'll back up here and give you a look of what that looks like. And it's a stamped patio. So there's a lot of little crevices in it. Got all of that taken care of. I'll link the video um, to me pouring this. I poured this last year. I'll link the video up in the upper corner to this. And um, we did the table and chairs. Got those all washed up. Used the soap bottle on those. All on one battery and the battery's still going strong. So one recommendation I would have or one thing is a, um, a flexible hose. I'm using kind of a, a rigid garden hose and that would be a lot easier if I had one of those coil hoses. I don't think the volume is as much of a deal as the pressure. Just making sure you've got good water water coming through. So that's one thing I'll be looking for is maybe a 25 foot uh, coil up hose. Still two bars on the battery. If you're doing the whole patio, table, four chairs. I think that's pretty impressive for battery longevity. I think to sum it up, it did a pretty good job taking care of the patio, taking care of the deck, taking care of rinsing off and washing some of our furniture that had been sitting outside all winter. But I would um, I would say it's a pretty good tool to add to the collection. You're DeWalt already. You would have the batteries, and um, this would just be a, a good addition to the workbench or to the tool cache, so to speak. But anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll have some more videos coming up, but I appreciate that. Hit the like and subscribe if you would. That surely helps, and we will see you all on the next video.